Well, when a tornado badly damaged her business, a Hendersonville woman knew that it would hurt her income. But the single mom says that the rebuild is pushing her toward ruin. Fox 17 News Dennis Ferrier investigates the slow, painful rebuild of the Lyric House of Beauty. Every day your business is closed, you're losing money. The tornado may have destroyed your building in 30 seconds, but months later, you're still suffering. Elise Lasasso built a house of beauty, a hair salon, an art gallery, clothing store, and event space. Her dream realized. But that December 9th, 2023 tornado not only damaged her Hendersonville business, it damaged that dream because the Lyric House of Beauty is still closed almost eight months later. I thought to myself, six months will be the absolute worst case scenario. My property manager, I think, said four to five, or three to four, and I said, six months. I can do, I can do some things in six months. You know, I can hang on. Hanging on is a price. Lasasso's little dream on Main Street is a nightmare. Now all of a sudden, I have to look at my house every day like, am I gonna be able to afford this tomorrow? How much longer am I gonna be able to hold on? It, it feels very much like you did lose everything, but I don't think people have an easy time understanding how hard it is when a small business gets hit like this. Elise did try a temporary solution. She rented a space, but she ended up losing her entire staff and the space was so limited she couldn't even do color. So I have really had a hard time maintaining my clients during this. Um, even having somewhere to do their hair has been a challenge. Um, I've resorted to on-site beauty services again. I've been doing house calls. Even so, her business is down 80% and nothing has really gone her way. Lasasso says the contractor has been slow to get the renovations done. Worse codes requires the 92-year-old building to be updated, including expensive electrical upgrades. And here's a real twist. Although NES can't hook up power until the electrical is upgraded, they still bill her right up to this month in this powerless building. And, but for them to keep charging me, um, and it's like a set, set amount every month, and they're telling me there's power at your location. I'm like, there's definitely no power here. We contacted NES. They quickly responded to us saying they made a mistake. Quote, NES reviewed the customer's account and after discovering a process error, we issued a refund to resolve the issue. In addition, we have apologized to the customer for the error. We contacted codes in the city of Hendersonville. The city told us the contractor has not even requested an inspection and the electrical contracting work has failed two inspections. The city said it has waived all fees because of the tornado, but the electrical wiring has to follow the 2017 NEC electrical code. It is all added up to one giant expensive and delay. Lasasso didn't know what to expect. She'd never been a tornado victim, but now she realizes she's still a tornado victim. I wish that I had a better story. I wish that um, my city put its tornado victims at priority, and I don't think it has done that. The problem, of course, is that every day the business is closed, Lasasso is losing income, and the longer you hang on, the deeper the hole gets. I'm Dennis Ferrier, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.